keep your spine straight, close your eyes, take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in, hold it there. ओम श्री गणेशाय नम ओम श्री सरस्वत्य नम ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम समस्त जन कल्याणे निरत करुणामय नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर यो अंत प्रवेश मम वाच मीमा प्रसुप्ता संजीव यखिल शक्ति धर स्वधा अन्यांशस्तचरण श्रवण तादी प्राण नमो भगवते पुषा तुभ्यं प्राण नमो भगवते पुषा तुभ्यं प्रणाम टू लॉर्ड प्रणाम टू ऑल द महात्मा प्रेजेंट इन टुनाइट्स सत्संग ऑफ महाभारत a warm welcome to each one of you for making it for this moment where we are going to take up study of mahabharat in a unique way going verse by verse please join me to welcome our beloved pooja swami ji whose grace has descended on us and that's why this moment is happening on the eve of dipavali where tomorrow is vasubaras the day van and as for a better moment it has to be a mahatma's grace only to think of such a thing to make it happen and with ab pooja swami ji's beloved apoval his compassion his krupa karuna on us that we will be able to take this as our study uh, for whatever it takes those 100000 uh, verses and with him blessing us uh, it's going to be very easy i'll not take much time i'll invite shiv ji so to introduce swami ji all of us know about swami ji we don't need introduction and it's all absolutely not even a formal thing but it is like that no when uh, swami ji only says when we hear about hari katha we make a bond with and who else would be a better person for shiv ji i always feel like you know he is like hanuman ji he he is so much devoted to swami ji and from here to hear him from him all about swami ji is again to make that bond is it's a immense pleasure over to you shiv ji let's hear from you thank you varsha ji hari om sadar charan sparsh pooja swami ji humble pranams i don't uh, see swami ji's video Yes, we we'll wait for. Uh, we can hi uh, spotlight Swami Ji's video first. Uh, when Swami Ji joins, until then, Ashir, if possible, you can do some chanting uh, until Kriti switches on the video. Okay. Swami Ji is here already. Yes, Swami Ji is here. Pranams to Swami Ji. Father Charan, first Swami Ji. Pranams Swami Ji, Charan, first Swami Ji. Koti koti pranam. Yeah. Uh, with your permission, Pooja Swami Ji, maybe. just begin yes thank you swami ji om shri ganesha namaha om shri saraswati namaha om shri guru bhyo namaha thank you varsha ji for uh, the beautiful opening with your prayers uh, to accede to your request of introducing pooja swami ji i wish to open with an apology that i may not be able to do justice with your bhav for pooja swami ji but i will try um uh, pooja swami ji to speak about you in your presence is the hardest thing but once again i will try with your blessings uh i think we all have in our lives countless people who are worried about our you know how much 
have we saved in our bank balance? How much we have invested in our stocks? How well are we taking care of our kids and doing their upbringing? Or how much weight are we really losing? But there is probably nobody in our life except Pujya Swamiji, who is really concerned about how close have we come to Bhagawan today? How much has Bhagawan heard our prayer today? How much is he craving for our attention that have you fed me a little bit? Or how much have we lost the weight, not of our body, but of our ego? Or how much have we exercised our lips and our fingers through Jab? There is no such person except Pujya Swamiji. And therefore, if there is one word that summarizes Pujya Swamiji, at least in my mind, that word is Karuna. The glory of a saint is his jnan, is his tapasya, is his vairagya, is his depth of bhakti for Bhagwan. But the glory of Guru is only his karuna. Because the Guru is one who is not just a saint, who is endowed with all this, which is knowledge, tapasya, bhakti, vairagya. But the crest jewel of that Guru is really his compassion. And with those eyes of compassion, he sees the child and accepts him who willingly goes and jumps in the mud, in the filth every day of his own vasanas. And again, next moment, the Guru is there as a mother to wash and cleanse and as a father to discipline and tighten his sadhana. And to that Guru Roop of Bhagwan, whom we all know as Dakshinamurti Ji, who is alive and pulsating three times a day on YouTube for each one of us. To that pulsating presence of Dakshinamurti Ji, I bow down in awe and reverence and arms to Pooja Swamiji. In, in you, Swamiji, we see Bhagwan Ram's highest qualities of not seeing the fault of anyone, of highlighting the good of each one of us. The way you see us, I fall in love with myself like never before. The way you recognize and acknowledge everybody is nothing but a reminiscent of how Bhagwan Ram used to speak to not just Kevat and Shabri and the monkeys, but even to the birds and the trees in the forest. Your ability to revel in Bhagwan's name is just like Lord Shiva, for whom just closing the eyes takes him in the thoughts of Ram. Similarly, Swamiji, for you, satsang is your appetite, we feel, Swamiji. You live, breathe and sleep satsang. And through you, we see Ma Durga, who has all the powers in her, but she uses her powers only for her children to nourish us. So thank you, Swamiji, for being in our lives as a reminder that we are blessed to belong to Pooja Gurudev. As a reminder that how much ever we go astray, you and all the saints of our mission as Vibhutis of Pooja Gurudev, are always there as a ring fence around us. Just like a cow can graze as much as it wants, but as long as it is tied to the rope and to the peg, it will never go astray. Your satsang is that rope and you are the peg, Pooja Swamiji. Thank you for holding on to us. I would just want to end uh, my offering unto Pooja Swamiji by thanking you, Swamiji the most recent nine days of Navratri, the way you took us through those nine days of glorious satsangs of Devi Ma, culminating in the grand launch of Mother Annapurna's arrival in Durban Ashram, Chinmay Annapurna. Swamiji, you are truly a manifestation of Gurudev's Sankalpa by bringing temples, by bringing scriptures and by bringing saints in our lives. 
we are indebted to bhagwan for having brought us in this world at a time when you are here thank you so much swami ji sadar charan sparsh i hand it back to varsha ji and with your permission puja swami ji thank you so much hari om hari om hari om charan sparsh swami ji we will not make any more uh, time lapse everybody is awaiting to hear your amrit vachan over to you swami ji charan sparsh Varsha ji, you can spotlight the other view once Swami ji comes on online. नम शिवाय ओम 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 नम शिवाय गणना गणपति गवामे कवि कवीनामश्रवस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पतान शृण्वन्नोतिदसाधन ओं श्री महागणपत नम सरस्वत नमो नित्यम भद्रकाल नमो नम वेद वेदात वेदांग विद्यास्थानेभ्य नम प्रणवाताय शुद्धज्ञानकमूर्त निर्मलाय प्रशाताय दक्षिणामूर्त नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर शोत्तम दी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर तथो जय मुदीर श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारे हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव हे नाथ नारायण वासुदेव श्री कृष्ण गोविंद हरे मुरारे श्री 
ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಮುರಾರಿ ಹೇ ನಾಥ ನಾರಾಯಣ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಮುರಾರಿ ಹೇ ನಾಥ ನಾರಾಯಣ ವಾಸುದೇವ 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 ವಾಸು ದೇವ ವಾಸುದೇವ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಹರಿ ಬುಲಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚಂದ್ರ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೀ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಸದ್ಗುರುನಾಥ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕೀ ನಮ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಬದೆ ಹರ ಹರ ಮಾರಾಶರ್ಯವಚಸ್ಸರೋಜ ಮಮಲಂ ಗೀತಾರ್ಥಗಂಧೋತ್ಕಟ ನಾನಾಖ್ಯಾನ ಕೇಸರ ಹರಿಕಥಾ ಸಂಬೋಧನಾಬೋಧಿ ಲೋಕೆ ಸಜ್ಜನ ಷಟ್ಪತೈರ ಪೇಪೀಯಮಾನ ಮುದ ಭೂಯಾತ್ಮಾರತ ಪಂಕಜ ಕರಿಮಲ ಪ್ರಧ್ವಂಸಿ ನ ಶ್ರೇಯಸೆ ಧರ್ಮಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಮಿದ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಅರ್ಥಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಮಿದ ಪರಂ ಮೋಕ್ಷಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಮಿದ ಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ವ್ಯಾಸೇನಾತ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಭಾರತ ಸರ್ವಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಉತ್ತಮ ಭರತರ್ಷಭ ಸಂಪ್ರತ್ಯಾಚಕ್ಷತೆ ಚೇದ ತೋಷ್ಯಂತಿ ಚಾಪರೆ ಹರಿಂ 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 ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೀಲ್ there are more opportunities of thinking about the world you can give that or not no i can possible there are more opportunities for becoming sad becoming angry hmm and <clears throat> okay it's quite far and keep it up there are more opportunities for thinking about the world and thinking about jeev and jagat very less opportunities are there where we forget the worldliness and think about the lord or think about something which is dharma etc not so okay. what is that one more is required hmm. okay take <laughs> so 
if you see the schedule from the morning, if we don't have the satsang, etc., other than satsang time, we think about the work that we have to do. Really, we think about the Lord or the principles of the Lord. Therefore, Goswami Ji says in Ram Charitmanas, Dhanya so ghari jab satsanga. That time is blessed where we forget our own small self. There should be moments in our day where we are dissolving ourselves and not thinking my loss, my gain, my family, my people my fate, my achievement, somewhere this ankar has to be forgotten. There should be such a big solvent which makes us forget our own ankar. And this time is given by the scriptures or satsang, etc. And today, is auspicious day in the sense that our dear Varshaji, she had been thinking about starting Mahabharat, chanting or whatever is her schedule, I don't know. And she had requested when I was in Uttar Kashi itself that I should start the first day. And to create an opportunity, she takes numberless Gita classes and so many grammar classes and even Vedantic texts are there. How much capacity she has is amazing. It is still amazes me. And the children also, she will make the make, learn Gita by heart Gita. Small children the adults also, and they send her the recordings. And with her tenacity and hard work, she goes and in spite of all that, she is thinking of starting Mahabharata. That is something not very easy found. Once only I had told her that you should send me one chapter of Bhagavad. And without any gap, she sends the chanting of one chapter of Bhagavad. Plus so it is her great sankalp and I have all the love and good wishes that everybody should continue that. But little I will talk about Mahabharat if you are not tired. So I will talk around. One more class is there at 2 o'clock. So Please see, the Mahabharat means there are two meanings to Mahabharat. One meaning is the Mahabharat is a Karmdhare Samas in Sanskrit, the great clan of Bharat. This one meaning is there. Where some great, great people had come. And second meaning is where some uh, very important principles are mentioned. If you remember, you want to take this, you can take this. Huh? Sure. Okay. So, one meaning is this. And Ramayana is the explanation of simple dharma. Mahabharata is explanation of complex dharma. And you'll be surprised to know that this was written by Bhagwan Veda Vyasa with 100,000 verses are there. 100,000. Biggest and greatest epic is there among our, all our scriptures. It is the voluminous, most voluminous text is there. Hmm. And what is the what is the point here? 
what is the main theme here huh? you know there is four purushar dharma kaam arth and moksha you all have known dharma arth kaam dharma and moksha is there i mean it is so astonishing that mainly any granth is either dharma shastra or karma shastra or moksha shastra like gita is moksha shastra they are not talking about arth and kaam in bhagavad gita kautilya another there are arth shastras there jemini has written dharm sutras they are focusing on one area manu smriti also is dharm shastra although about the description about moksha is there hmm? but take this up but what is surprising in what is surprising in mahabharat it is arth dharm kaam moksha is so much described in such a big volume each one of them especially dharm and moksha it's simply mind boggling i'll take some time if god wishes it is my will to take each verse some day god will fulfill that wish <laughs> so much is there because the peace can come only when my life is as per the as per the rules of the god laid dharm is the one that that is a vritti which holds a person which makes him quiet which which doesn't allow the world to dominate on the mind dharm vritti is those vrittis through which you become immune to the worldly prarabdh onslaught the onslaught of the prarabdh good bad honorable dishonorable situation that come it doesn't touch you because you have a very big dharm is an armor there between you and the world that vritti will see that you are not affected a lot therefore manusmriti this one shlok comes riti kshama damastayam shocham indriya nigraha धीर विद्या सत्यम अक्रो अक्रोध धीर विद्या सत्यम दशक धर्म लक्षण सो टेन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द धर्म इज अ वृत्ति थ्रू विच यू बिकम नंबर वन यू बिकम नॉट अ स्केप गोट ऑफ द गुड एंड बैड पार दिस इन वेन इट्स गोइंग गेट्स टफ Tough get going something like is there? क्या है? हाँ हाँ it's a good line. <laughs> so the situation will not be the one which you have thought as it is. There is something better will come, and let me tell you, something worst also will come. my point is are you ready for it such such things happen that we had not thought about it positively negatively also prarabdh is unpredictable dharm creates a dif- dif- difference between what world is giving and what i am experiencing महा महाभारत शिशुपाल इज अब्यूजिंग भगवान कृष्ण एंड भगवान इज नॉट एक्सपीरियंसिंग सौरव नहीं धर्म है 
where you distance between the world and your experience. I have the freedom to choose my experience. My 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 uh, experience is not dependent on my dharma, or very less dependent. If dharma is not there, person will be at the feet of prarab. I am just giving a few. I not. I, I thought I won't talk a lot, but a lot. Something I'll talk. Not a lot. Really, how long you will talk in another class? Don't worry. <laughs> मतलब अगर धर्म इफ यू डोंट हैव धृति देन एनी टेम्पटेशन विल ड्राउन यू इफ यू डोंट हैव क्षमा एनी बडीज मिस्टेक विल ट्रबल यू इफ यू डोंट हैव सेल्फ कंट्रोल देन एनी थिंग आई विल बी फॉलोइंग फॉर एंड इन महाभारत Each character depicts a particular thought, actually, and what is the result of that thought that is depicted through lot of examples? So many verses are there about each each character, and so many stories are there that will baffle you. So there is a big description of dharma in Mahabha. Dharma means Big, big, big description of these ten vrittis are there actually. Negatively, and adharm vrittis are also described. What that vritti, how it functions, how it starts, where it culminates, what it gives in the outside world, what that thought gives in the inside world. how it mixes with something how it may get polluted how it gets purified there is a big plethora of description about actually it is a thought that and of course moksha so dharm out of the uh, arth and kaam is also there but big coverage is on dharm and big coverage more than moksha is also there but the big coverage is on dharm rather it is written at the end that whatever is not there is nowhere written there is nothing which has been left rather all other texts are utchist utchist matlab left over of this mahabharat it has given vishnu sahasra is in mahabharat bhagavad gita is in mahabharat so if mahabharat was not there gita wouldn't be there you have to salute bhagwan vedavyas to have given such a treasure today which is available in black and white theek hai and if we don't know the function the the nature some vritti are very fast some are slow anger is a fast running vritti kaam is a fast vritti Hmm. Anxiety is a fast vritti. Humble is a slow vritti. Some vrittis are fast, some are slow. Some think far, some have a very good eyes, some are blind. Anger is blind, greed is blind. But the bhakti has lot of big eyes. Dhriti has very long, far-sighted eyes. Every dhriti has a hand and leg. It holds on to something. The dhriti of dhriti would hold on to the ideal. I will not leave my job. I will not leave my goal. The dhriti of calm will hold on to the joy that it is getting. The dhriti of krodh will hold on to the somebody's sorrow. as somebody's badness the vritti of lobh will hold on to somebody some money that i can get i'm dissatisfied I, if i get more this thought it holds on every vritti has leg every vritti has eyes every vritti has thought ah, sorry hands it is clear and mahabharat the texture of mahabharat is 
that it depicts it through various examples and various couplets and various verses and gives us a hint what where you are and you please see your positioning there i'll i'll just take few examples and then move ahead about dharma therefore i don't know where from this came that you should not keep mahabharat in the house fight will happen without keeping the mahabharat so much fight is happening <laughs> and with me it is there no fight is there so it is all we are deprived from our self only it, it should be read you say no mahabharat happened because of duryodhan this is wrong mahabharat seed was not duryodhan duryodhan came in the picture much later on ha huh? no shakuni is also not there shakuni came in the picture later on mahabharat she seed was shantanu shantanu fell in love with matskanya called satyavati and she, she was a fisher woman so he went to propose she said i will marry but and she was so beautiful that i cannot say otherwise i will shant uh, he will waste his time shant so <laughs> and you know she was given a blessing so that from her body instead of the fish smell Beautiful smell. I mean, fragrant scent of flowers. All flowers used to smell from her body. I mean, without this man, only man gets attracted so much. Huh? Now she proposed. So she said, "Okay, whatever my father says, I'll do that." So he went to the father. At that time, already he had a son. Who? Shantanu. Son was Devrat. who became. He put a condition that you know his son, her son will be the king. This Satyavati's father. He said he he was very upset, I mean very sad. So he went into the kingdom. So Bhish Pitama was a Pitru Bhakti. He said, "Pita ji, why you are so sad?" Then he told. He said, "I will not marry." no um, what you said you will yes he agreed that his his um, this satyavati son will be the i will not i'm leaving the throne forever he still he was not satisfied his father was very shrewd her father who's satyavati he said supposing bhish pitama's son comes he said okay i'll not marry that was a very big blunder of shantanu when a capable person is there why you deprived him for your personal need the, the the kingdom of the whole thousands and crores of people are more responsible rather than one person's whims and fancies and likes and dislikes he should not have admitted this was a seed of mahabharat three four people are required before duryodhan comes into picture are your personal when you are a king and same thing was done by prithviraj same mistake prithviraj chauhan did not or prithviraj prithviraj chauhan i am not telling that story his vritti of dhriti was not there his vritti asakti vritti was there asakti is a blind vritti runs very fast holds very fast this is the nature of vritti now son came with him satyavati is where son was vichitravir now to get he was little he had he was he became a tb patient ultimately tuberculosis now bhish pitama kidnapped and abducted the daughter of kashi amba ambika ambalika to get married with this person now he said i won't marry amba now amba was already in love affair with somebody 
Now she went to that lover. I'm cutting the story short. That lover said, "Already you have gone, and he had kidnapped. I won't accept you now." Vritti of again, Vritti dharm was absent. Without the consent of the girl, how can we take? Now she came back to him. Bish Pitam. He said, "You marry." He said, "I cannot marry. I have taken a vow of not marrying." You said he. She said, "I'll see that you will die with my hands. With I will be responsible for your death." That created another seed of Mahabharat. Vichitravir had two sons. One was Dhritarashtra, other was Pandu. Dhritarashtra was blind, as you all know. Pandu had two wives. One was Kunti, other was Madri. Huh? So one day, one Rishi and Rishi's uh, wife were copulating. They were meeting together in the guise of deer. Now he, although it is a sin, that when the two Animals are copulating. You should not go there and touch them. But he shot them. Now that Rishi came out, he said, "When you will go to meet your wife, you will face the death as I am dying." This was the third mistake of Mahabharat. We just blame Duryodhan. Now he said, "Okay, I will not meet my wife." But one day he he out of his calm he forgot who, huh? Pandu, and he rushed towards Madri, and there he died. If Pandu knew it that this is a curse to me, he should have controlled himself. I told you this virtue of calm is blind. So one asakti shantanu had, other loyalty vritti was there that Devrat or Bishpitama had. He was too attached to that Vichitravish. My mother should be happy. Somehow Satyavati should be happy, and he and third mistake was hers, his Pandu's mistake. If Pandu was alive. Pandavas would have been comfortable because the kingdom belonged to Pandu. Kingdom belonged to Pandu. Actually, if one brother is blind, other brother can take the throne because blind cannot rule. That is the Dharma Shastra. I hope you are following or getting bored. Huh? This is the one one thought has created Mahabharat. Now it is a game changer. Now Dhritaraj became a king. A most incapable, foolish person became a king. Because of these three people, three mistakes. You therefore, I always say, please see that the right legacy is left after you pass. Let us not leave a long legacy because it, it it will go for a long time. The future has to bear the consequences of your mistakes. Mistakes don't end so easily. It has a very long life. Now, after that, the trust came. Hmm. Another mistake I'll tell you. Who built the army? A Sani Mahabharat ho gayi. He was blind, so he was. They took and he, there is a place called Gandhar, what is called Afghanistan. And there the prince Subal was the king there, and his daughter was Gandhari. So he told that my this Dhritarashtra is blind. But the reputation was very high because they were great kings of this clan of Kuru Vansh. So ultimately, they said okay. But Shakuni did not like. Shakuni was a brother of Gandhari. Shakuni was unhappy with this proposal to get marrying with the blind. And at that time, Pandu was the king. Ha, huh, to make it worst, so he he didn't like at all. He was a mad lover of. His sister, Shakuni. One folk story comes, although it is not in Mahabharat, but where it comes, I'm Purana. I'm prepared to search it. This Gandhari was Manglik. 
Mangalik, you understand? If she marries with somebody, that person will die. But these people hid this from Pishpitama and Dhritarashtra. This is called Mangalik. So he was married to a goat. First. Then goat was killed. So that fellow by first husband is king, killed as him. <laughs> he goat, I mean he goat. Huh? And <laughs> what is he goat called? Huh? We don't know. He goat is enough. So he, now this was there. This he came to know. This was a lie. This he came to know. Because another mistake was from Subal. Dhritarash came to know. When he came to know, he was very upset. Bhish, Pitam, and Dhritarash all. They, they imprisoned all. He had hundred children. Gandhar, King Subal. Imprisoned everybody. And they say, condition was only one handful of rice were given for all hundred people. So they knew that we will die. So they did one thing. They said, let's all give rice to Shakuni only. So that at least he should be alive. We will die anyway. So they were stopped to death. And before dying, that father kicked Shakuni on his feet very badly so that he starts limping. He said, you see that this dynasty is finished. Because we have been imprisoned very badly. And from his knees and hips, when, bow, when bone was brought out and made a dice out of it. And he gave a boon, whatever number you will say, it will play that number. Revenge should not have been taken at such crucial time by Dhritarashtra. It was over. Goat was killed over. Dhritarashtra saw widow got married with him. <laughs> सब पागली होते हैं उनको लगा ये वीडियो है अब तो मैरिज तो हो गई भले बकरे से मैरिज हो गई ही गॉट शी गॉट मैरिड विद द बोट फ्रॉम द सेकंड मैरिज हो रही है उसकी ही गॉट वेरी अपसेट ऑन दिस पॉइंट देयरफॉर ही डिड लाइक दैट अल्टीमेटली शक इज फादर सुबल वेंट टू भीष्म पितामह एंड ही सेड यू नो वी ऑल विल डाई बट एट लीस्ट कीप शकुनी ही विल बी योर वेल विशर ही विल टेक केयर धृतराज हां धृतराज ही सेड वी विल टेक केयर ऑफ ऑल 100 चिल्ड्रन this and ultimately he was relieved but his single agenda was to finish everybody bahut si complicated thoughts are there and among all complicated thought simpler thoughts are also there and the simpler thoughts are represented by especially pandavas five simple thoughts are there thought of dharm thought of valor and bravery thought of dakshata expertise thought of seeing the future which sahadev has and thought of you know meeting the enemies these are five simple thoughts we are mentioned by five pandavas and they are called dharm and all were having all were under the leadership of yudhishthir and bhagwan krishna surrender and dharm was their strength to depict this that these will they will conquer this surrender and dharm conquers everything this is depicted and painted here in mahabharat i'm just giving a very very broad line so you don't blame just duryodhan Duryodhan was the tip of the iceberg. Actually, these four or five people already did mistake. Shantanu, Pishpitama, then third was what is Pandu, then fourth was Subal, and fifth was Dhritarashtra. Five mistakes were already made. They set the whole ground for Mahabharat, and he was constantly poisoning the Kauravas, Shakuni. then he was the one who was the main conspirer conspiring person 
this is a crooked vritti krur n you know krur vritti was there this vritti was of crookedness of revenge taking we said you hundred children hundred my father was killed and my brothers were killed let me see how will survive <clears throat> this story comes somewhere else is not there anyway let me move ahead and forward but is the, the silver the jewel crown in mahabharat is bhagwan krishna actually. he is the hero and yato krishna tato jaya yato dharma tata krishna wherever dharma is there krishna will side there this pandavas didn't had a revengeful mind this pandavas didn't have a you know aveshi vritti this pandavas didn't have anger this pandavas didn't have lust and passion this pandavas were obedient they had all the vritti of the dharma in a very big measure so they were not doing any depriving anybody and and playing any game which these all people had neither they were attached somewhere that they will take away somebody's right initially they were at loss and therefore they became darling of all hearts bhish pitama drona char everybody used to love them madly seeing the importance duryodhan got very very jealous and very he was mainly a jealous person an ambitious person not a lusty person duryodhan's one goodness i will tell you he his character was is spotless impeccable he had taken a vow i won't touch any woman other than my wife therefore when godrapadi was disturbed it was karna who said you can sit on my on my thighs not duryodhan duryodhan said i will not touch so he had unlike ravan he had a very strong point about his character but he was extremely greedy the thought of greed extremely ambitious this extremely jealous these three two three thoughts was there which was the fuel in the fire what fire they had lit he added tremendous fuel and his name was not duryodhan it was suryodhan actually dushasan was sushasan and when he was born at that time only the you know the the voice of crow started coming in auspicious voice so vidur said kill this child but tritras did not kill and these are the consequences were there but biggest strength of any person is that he is not doing even if he is losing something he is not doing something wrong where somebody's right is taken away or somebody's joy is taken away or i have malicious intention as shakuni had or i had i take away i kidnap somebody or i was so attached if arjun was attached to draupadi he wouldn't have asked his mother that all she belongs to all so their character and their vritti was very exalted and that was why that was the reason why they came close to bhagwan krishna so chitrath a story i had told about chitrath when they were in the forest pandavas chitrath was one of the gandharva who came and when he came duryodhan had a fight with him and duryodhan was defeated this was heard by yudhishthir they were also in the neighbor duryodhan yudhishthir tells to bhim and arjun go and protect duryodhan bhim gets very angry all this mahabharat bhim said what are you talking are you mad he jumped like a bull he said see we will fight but gracefully we will fight let us have some time don't do anything in a dharmic way ultimately he won arjun won and and chitrat said to arjun that please ask a boon arjun used the trick of kekai he said i will ask a boon when required <laughs> <laughs> because already ramayan was done and arjun kept that choice i'm just cutting it short 11:30 is there in 5 minute mahabharat war started and 10th day 
Duryodhan came very angry with Bhish Pitama. He said, "You know, you're not fighting with your heart. Your record is you have never fought for ten days. Wherever you fight, fight is over in one two days, and not one Pandavas are are is killed." So from five golden arrows, Bhish Pitama brought out. Bolle, this is for you. Tomorrow, this is for Yudhishthir. This is for. Beam. This is for Arjun. This is for Nakul. This is for Sadhu. I am going to kill all five of them. Two. He promised to Duryodhan. Duryodhan said, "See, let us keep it safely." He said, "I'll keep it safely." He said, "No, I will keep it." He said, "I will keep it safely," and he took all five. Krishna Bhagwan tells to Arjun. Go and ask the boon now to it. Arjun goes to meet Duryodhan. Duryodhan says, "How is it going on, Arjun?" Well, I have. Remember, you had asked for the boon. He said, "Yes." Well, can I ask the boon? He said, "Yes." He said, "Give me the five arrows." He said, "How did you know? It was in closed door." We had discussed this in closed door. Who told you? He said, "Krishna." Ultimately, he took away five arrows. This is Yato Dharma Pata Krishna. If you are doing right, no power in the earth can stop you from smile and God's grace. Many more incidences are there. Which I sometimes tell in the class about Mahabharat. So Mahabharat will be telling the trump of truth and dharma over a dharma, and how Ishwar helps Pandavas, and so many, and most importantly in Gita it is said swadharma ni dhanam shreya. Swadharma very important point. In Mahabharat swadharma there is a part in which Draupadi is telling the swadharma of a wife. In Shanti Parv, Bhish Pitama is telling the Swadharma of King. Itna jada description hai. Politicians should read it. How a king should be there and he should not trust his neighbor, like Nehru ji trusted China. If he had read this, they would have saved. He said, even if the neighbor is good, don't trust him. Always doubt him. Your country is most important. Do a, put lot of spies everywhere. I mean, when I read this Shanti Parv and that portion, I was baffled. Pati Dharm, Sish Dharm, Kuru Dharm. He's an, an analyzing and threadbare analysis is of each Dharm. But it needs so much. This is only one part. Six parts are like. Oh my God! I think I'll die before that. <laughs> so, Bhagwan Krishna is there. Yatr Yogeshwar Krishna Yatr Partho Dhanurdhar Tatra Shri Vijaya. You can see this depicted in Mahabharat. So beautiful text is Mahabharat. One should read it. How much talks we can have on so many books? Supposing, you know, we should live for a very long, healthy life. Then only you can complete such text also. And lot of classes are required. In one class only, you get tired sometimes. You should get some devata body to continue. And the shota also should be devata. <laughs> so this is the glory of Mahabharat. It is two things mainly. It will tell. The dharm and about the moksh. So in Bhish Pitama gives gives the upadesh in Shanti Parv about moksh also and about dharm also and about lot of things which you have to read it. It cannot be taught. There are so many verses. It is difficult to take these verses. Imagine Gita only seven hundred verses are there. It takes so much of time. And these one hundred thousand verses, who will take? It's very challenging. It can't be held in a camp. But it is possible if you explain. So it's a matter of joy that some chanting will continue. And this, I just wanted to give you a brief thing about Mahabharat. Ultimately, all Kauravas died.
and when gandhari knew so she called shakuni shakuni also died ha sorry shakuni also was killed by sahdev but before shakuni died gandhari was knew that this is she is the mastermind and after the death she cursed after the death she said in gandhar never peace will be there afghanistan was always disturbed after that because you killed my 100 children because you were conspiring and therefore you will never have peace there so they say afghanistan is ever disturbed after that anyway so lot of good things are there so we should come back and read so and i'm glad that i don't know what is the schedule of the classes with darsha ji will take but some chanting classes will be there and some kind of different uh, uh uh what is it called different ways will be there to put on that we can see hmm. later on i i can keep on speaking but my time is over so jaldi 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 priti please switch off one mic thank you so i have a 2 o'clock class also another 3 hours are there no less than 3 hours two and a half hours <laughs> so you will now if somebody has to say something or he has to say then she can say and then i will conclude and i will go but i'm very happy see you all after long time i'm seeing everybody Parents, but Swami Ji, Hari Om, Swami Ji. What more I can ask of this moment? Um, coming back to Shiv Ji's words, he described you as Karuna, and it was so apt. That a small thought came, and it didn't have to be left empty. And you took it uh, that yes, we'll build up on this, and 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 we'll Uh, so that people can join or your presence made all these questions so negligible and insignificant that the class will be on a sunday and it will be on at 2 o'clock this india time that is 10:30 south africa time and um, we'll just continue next sunday from verse 1 or we are so powerless i feel so insignificant or aapke bal se wo class ko bal aa gayi hai and all that glimpse matlab you can say so many things about it and you have put it in this small uh, span so many points for us to ponder ki dekhna kya hai mahabharat mein kahan se kya karna hai and as shiv ji said that you are holding three sessions and waha brahmachari students hai unke agle class hai aapka bhi agla class hai and your karuna as he described that you accommodated this request also matlab hum kitna karna chahe you are blessing all that swami ji so i don't know what more to ask for bas aapki kripa aise hi sab par barasti rahe hamare par barasti rahe aur ye jo aap aaj shubharam kara hai wo aise hi class chalte rehne chahiye har sunday 2 baje verse bhi padhenge meaning bhi padhenge verse by verse jaane ka sankalp kara hai swami ji wo aapki kripa se ho hi jayega there is no doubt about it i can just remain ever at your feet in gratitude aur kuch nahi chahiye this moment is so fulfilling it's the heart is so full it is so thrilled swami ji ki kya bole kya kare matlab jab jaise aapne accept hi kar diya tabhi se aisa hai ki this is nothing more in life needed bas itna hi hona chahiye aur kuch nahi bas aapki krupa aise hi varishti rahe swami ji aur bas aur ek mahina hi dur hai phir ayodhya aana hi hai aapke sath wapas rehna hai वो वो उसी के आस में है ये एक होगा स्वामी जी आई आई जस्ट डोंट नो व्हाट आई एम टॉकिंग बट बहुत बहुत कृपा रही आपकी एट योर फीट इन ग्रैटिट्यूड एंड डीपेस्ट ग्रैटिट्यूड थैंक यू स्वामी जी स्वामी जी
ऑडियो ऑडियो आ रहा है हमारा जी स्वामी हमें ऑडियो जी आज अच्छा जी सो थैंक यू एवरीबॉडी मैं तो भगवान को कुछ अर्पित करने का अवसर मिला आई हैड द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू जस्ट ऑफर समथिंग एट द फीट ऑफ लॉर्ड भगवान ने ये सेवा दिया है एंड यू फैसिलिटेटेड दैट कीप ऑन स्टडिंग कीप ऑन रीडिंग कीप ऑन लिसनिंग अ लॉट एंड कीप अ बिग डिस्टेंस बिटवीन यू एंड द वर्ल्ड एंड नो डिस्टेंस बिटवीन यू एंड द लॉर्ड सो दिस प्रोग्राम ऑफ रिमूविंग द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द लॉर्ड इज कॉल्ड डिवोशन एंड दिस प्रोग्राम ऑफ मेंटेनिंग डिस्टेंस इज कॉल्ड डिस्प्रेशन so whole sadhana is to increase this devotion and this passion and both take us to the knowledge of the self so i'm so happy to see everybody humne sabko dekh bhi liya because you see every every day i don't see you yahan pe hame aasha bhi dikh rahe hain rita ji bhi dikh rahe hain sanjeev menon bhi hain lata ji bhi hain and radha krishnan ji bhi hain ravi ji bhi hain silhouette mein hai ravi ji aap aise hain dikh bhi nahi rahe hain lekin aapka shadow dikh rahi hai acche se गीतांजलि है माधवी जी भी दिख रही हैं ऐसा लग रहा है आप ट्रेन के पास खड़े ही कहीं लेकिन अच्छा लग रहा है हाँ श्रुतिका भी है वसुंधरा जी भी है अंबिका है दिव्या भी है संदेश है लक्ष्मी है भावना है दुबई से भावना है अच्छा ज्योत्ना अमरीश भी है विभा जी भी है हेमलता जी भी है पुलकित है गीतिका भी है का टाइम निकाला गीतिका ने बन और माधवी चैतन्य भी है यहाँ पे केप टाउन से अच्छा लग रहा है सबको देख के आप लोग भगवान का नाम लीजिए आनंद में रहिए और अच्छा इधर ये भी है कपिल जी भी है रीट भी है उर्वशी है अनुपमा है मधु जी भी है संगीता जी भी है वाणी निखिला एक ही निकिता है वेंकटेश भट्ट है निखिला है सबको बहुत बहुत हमारा प्यार आप लोग आनंद में रहिए लेकिन आनंद स्वरूप जो आत्मा है उसी के साथ समय व्यतीत करिए स आत्म क्रीड आत्मवृत्ति क्रियावान पुंडक उपनिषद में एक लाइन आप भी है ज्ञानी के लिए आत्म क्रीड आत्मवृत्ति क्रियावान ही प्लेस इन द सेल्फ ही रेवेल्स इन द सेल्फ केवल उन्हीं के साथ अपना मन बताइए ठीक है थैंक यू ऑल वेरी मच विल सी और अपने क्लासेस को कंटिन्यू करिएगा भगवान का नाम लेके उनसे शक्ति मांगिएगा और देखिएगा महाभारत में कितने जेम्स हैं व्हाट वी हैव थॉट इट इज मन मच मच टाइम मेनी टाइम्स मोर देन व्हाट वी कैन एवर थिंक वॉस हरिओम हरिओम थैंक यू एवरीबडी हरिओम ओम पूर्ण मद पूर्ण मिद पूर्ण पूर्ण मदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं श्री हरि ओम हरि ओम हरि ओम हरि हरि ओम Hari Om, everyone. Thank you so very much for joining and making this happen. And to hear Swami Ji Samrat Vachan is so blessing. Mahabharat ki class. Uh, ab achhi tarike se le paenge. Isse lag raha hai. Unhi ke bal se, unhi ki tapo bal se. Or jinko jinko join karna hai, yehi Zoom link rahegi. Har Sunday do baje hoga. Or kisi ko WhatsApp group me vagara join karna hai. Then mujhe ya Misha Ji ko ab message karwa dijiye. so that you can be added aur agle sunday fir milte hain 2 baje aur ye journey continue karenge swami ji ki krupa se hum log har ek verse lene ki koshish karenge jaise swami ji ne kaha hai ki isme to zindagi beet jayengi so it is more about the journey rather than the destination ki kab ye complete hoga kya hoga lekin at least hum mahabharat to ghar mein leke aayenge jaise ki swami ji ne bola ki ye ghar mein laate hain to kya jhagde hote hain swami ji bole ki iske alavi to aur जैसे कि ये नहीं है तो झगड़े नहीं पड़े सो वी शुड कीप ऑल हिज वर्ड्स और उन्होंने जो आखिर में बताया कि कैसे वर्ल्ड से डिस्टेंस रखना है मतलब डिस्पैशन बढ़ाना है कैसे भगवान के साथ रहना है मतलब वो डिवोशन बढ़ाना है सो फॉर दीज 
we need more satsangs we should swami ji is already taking so many satsangs we should at least of one of that time we should hear him and then come back to our study class there we have to have our own study so maybe with his krupa we keep on doing more and more and remain in our study thank you to each one of you for joining and making this happen hari om everyone hari om हरिओम 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 हरिओम